Oh, your eyes aren't yellow. Interesting, so the cats keep their eyes, they just, whoa. What's up guys and welcome back to Slime Rancher and I am lost in the Indigo Quarry. I've been wandering around here for a few minutes now trying to find my way home and this place is a maze. There's so much that they added to the game. I mean, we did a little bit on the Indigo Quarry last episode, but I still don't think we've even explored the whole place yet. Apparently they like doubled the amount of like area that's in this game now. And I wanna try to gather up as many vegetables as I can find because I wanna feed uh, some of those Gordos today, right? Gordos or Largos? I think I've been screwing that up. I can't remember which is which. What are, what are you? You're a Largo. Okay, so when two of them combine, that makes a Largo, and the big ones are the Gordos. So perhaps we could feed one of them and see what secrets they hide? I can't imagine they would have keys because we don't have any doors to open, so they must have something else interesting. If I could only find my way home, that'd be great. Come here, you little slime. Oh, I don't have any room. Eh, we don't need any stony hens. I'd rather have puddle slimes. <laughs> and you guys were agreeing with me that the puddle slimes are a little bit disappointing now, which I'm happy I'm not the only one that thought that. They don't even look like slimes anymore. Like, all of the other slimes have a certain aesthetic to them. They're all round, they're all pudgy, they're all cute like that. And now the, the puddle slimes are just like, they're just like little mucks. They don't look like slimes at all. It doesn't really make any sense. Okay, if we can find our way home. That would be great. Is this it? This wasn't it. This, this was not the cave that I was looking for. <laughs> I figured if we're gonna be here, might as well feed the big old rock gordo, right? Because I can't bring back uh, very many beets with me, and 20 might be enough. If we get really lucky, 20 will be just enough. Oh, uh, oh, come on, and you, you don't like fruit, do you? No, dang it. Okay, fine, I'll be back. I found some carrots, maybe we're really close. I'm gonna hope that we're really close. Would you like a couple of carrots? Oh, come on. You guys are looking a little bit, uh, a little bit crowded in there. Do you need more water, I wonder? Like if I add more water, is that gonna raise the level? I don't think so. I don't think that, I don't think that did anything. I think they're just, they're just gonna have this kind of hang out. Okay, that should, that should be fine. There should be some vegetables growing in here, honestly. I mean, usually there are, yeah, okay, good. So if we can get just a couple of carrots, that'll be good. And then I think I have one pl uh, plot for beetroots or heartbeats or whatever they're called. So that that has to be enough, right? No, they haven't grown yet. Or are they are they even growing right now? No, they all died. So I have no heartbeats whatsoever. Man, okay, so we're going to we're going to grow a bunch of carrots cuz carrots are the next best thing, I guess. And uh, what are we going to do in the meantime? I'm going to have to wait for the carrots to grow. I guess we could, oh, you know what? Let's do something with our rad slimes. We haven't done anything with the rad slimes yet. And, uh, and maybe I can get rid of some of this stuff as well. God, there's so much money just sitting here. I'll sell some stuff and maybe we uh, we can do some um, rad slime experiments. I don't want to see what some of the rad slime largos look like. There might not be any place to do any experiments in here because this place is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea to change them financially because then they make two kinds of very expensive plorts, but um, they're they're kind of out of control. And I'm I'm seeing a door over here that I don't think I remember being here, so I'm just gonna kind of hover over all the danger. Yeah, wait, where where does this go? Oh, cool. Oh, I see. So one of these guys is going to um, to open a teleporter, which will bring me back to this place. So I don't know which one it's going to be though, because we have we have two rock ones and we have a red one and a honey one. So there's a lot of gordos for us to feed. They can't all have teleporters and uh, and keys, right? Oh my god, how am I going to get back through this? Ah, uh, don't hurt! Ah, don't hurt me! So I don't want any experiments getting out, so we are gonna add um, an air net, and we are going to add high walls? High walls, yeah. Okay, that, that should be good. So we're gonna put a rad slime in here. Yeah, look how cute he is. And obviously, with honey slimes being some of my favorites, I had to see what a honey rad largo looked like. So you eat that. Oh man, that is so cool. So the largos, it seems that it gives them the aura, and the really, really interesting, like, nuclear eyes but then other than that it's just a bigger version of the other one okay so what if what if we do a boom this this might be a little i, I feel like a red boom largo is just dangerous eat that eat it no not you you're gonna oh crap i'm sorry i can't i can't well i could probably help you yeah you know what i can help you you'll, you'll be okay you can't even get out can you nope 
you you can just stay in there and die. Wait, could you keep tars? Like if I if I fed them, if I was like, hey, Mr. Tar, here's a here's a hen. You want a hen? You don't you don't want a hen. I don't I don't have anything else. I can give you a lot of hens. Lots of hens. <laughs> well, the hens are just like aggressive. Okay, well then, we we learned something today. Hens are essentially invincible. Because big monster tars can't eat them. So am I just do I just go Oh What is he eating? What is he doing? He's like dry humping that chicken. Stop stop that. Stop stop dry humping. What are you, what are you doing? Oh Okay, I take it I take it back. The hens aren't invincible. You know what? I think I've grown tired of your shenanigans. You can just go away. That uh, that'd be great. See you later. Okay, I think I think he's gone. I think he's he's pretty well gone, right? You you're gonna stay up there and, and stop bothering me? Okay, good. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Who wants to who wants to be the lucky one to get transformed? Okay, go. I choose you. Oh god. <laughs> they're a, they're a little bit too bouncy. Here, here you go. You you eat that. Um. That is so cool. Oh, open your eyes. I need to see your eyes. Ah, no, don't love me. <laughs> you make me want to explode. Do you, are you gonna open your eyes? Maybe he needs some food. Let's give him some uh, some chickens. Oh, our carrots are done. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna we're gonna give him some chickens because I'm pretty sure they eat stony hens, right? So eat that. Just, just eat the chickens. Yeah, chicken eight. So I get to see. Oh, your eyes aren't yellow. Interesting. So the cats keep their eyes. They just whoa. I, what, what? That was cool. Oh man, like that, their aura is gigantic and they only seem to get it sometimes? Do, do that again. Ah, ah, no, no, oh, why is it, why is it not yellow now? Ah, I'm dying, I'm sorry, kitty. It's for the best. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, carrots are grown. We should be able to get enough. I can't carry a whole lot of carrots is the issue, but that guy has to be like brimming, right? He has to be ready to pop. So we got 40 carrots. Okay, we're gonna go back to the indigo quarry. We're gonna feed that guy carrots until he explodes and we're gonna see what his insides have for us. So if I remember correctly, I need to jump down and then it should be through here, right? Is this the cave? I'm starting to get a, uh, some bearings. Yeah, there he is. Okay, let's let's make this happen, shall we? We're gonna go one at a time because there's another rock one and uh, I wanna save as many carrots as I can for him. So you're just you're just gonna explode for me and give me your your jelly insides. Oh my god! Please tell me there you go. Yeah, ha there had to be enough there. Yeah, bursts into a bunch of little useless rock slimes. What else? Oh, okay, that's a teleporter. All right. So what do we got in here? Uh oh, beet roots. I think I need them or heartbeats or whatever. You no, don't eat my heartbeats. I need. Ah, okay. Fine. So where's this teleporter gonna take me? Ooh. Okay. This is this should be. Um, my cave, right? Yup, that, that's my cave. <laughs> it looks like my cave to me. Okay, so that's one. That's a very useful one too, actually. That's a big distance that travels for me. So where was the other rock gordo? And there was also, um, there was also honey gordo somewhere. And we have 40 mint mangoes. So if we can find the honey gordo, we could probably feed him as well this episode. I just, I just need to explore. I need to look around. Cause there's so much crap here. I'm 99% sure I saw him in here because I remember looking through like thick brush last episode and randomly spotting that giant honey gordo. He's got to be in here. So it was, it wasn't here. I can only imagine how big this game is going to get because there are so many areas like that that are under construction, right? There's like four or five more areas and with everything that they added in the Indigo Quarry, if they added four or five more like that, this game is going to be massive. There's going to be so much stuff to do. And in reality, like, Oh, I think this is the place. Like, your, your imagination is the limit when it comes to slimes. You can make any kind of slime. Like, the millions of different kinds you could make. I'm pretty sure he's up here, right? Let me, let me up. Oh, we already, did I already feed him? Did I already do that? Oh, I got the key from him, of course. Why? So I only imagine how many people are yelling at me that I did that last episode. Crap. Okay, well. I'm, I've been here for 30 seconds and uh, and madness has already ensued. So I guess we could gather up more veggies and try to find that other rock gordo. There were two rock gordos, right? I'm not losing my mind. I'm pretty sure there are two. I feel like there was another rock gordo over here. Like if we look down over the ocean, there was a path that would let us, yeah, there was a path like this and he should be down here somewhere, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing 40 carrots isn't gonna be enough. Who eats 40 carrots? In all reality, can you imagine sitting down and just eating 40 raw carrots or being a giant blob monster with one hand? 
I couldn't. Okay, so that's not enough, and um, and you're not gonna eat fruit, are you? Nope. Okay, let's go find some more vegetables. I found more heartbeats and I found more carrots, and I was thinking to myself, I would like to keep one heartbeat so I would have access to all of the different kinds of vegetables at my home, but in reality, this isn't a farming simulator anymore. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need to farm anything because I have infinite money, pretty much. This is just exploring and, like, catching adorable little slimes. It's pretty much become a Pokemon simulator. Okay, so we're gonna start with a carrot. And that's, that's probably not gonna do it. How about heartbeats? Don't, don't, don't take them all. Oh, oh, come on. He's literally quivering in anticipation of my final vegetable. Is Oka Oka a vegetable? Oh, it is. Yes, and I get to keep enough to grow. Oh, oh no, gold slimes. I, I need, I just hit you. Why are you giving me a, are you kidding me? Did you see that? I nailed him with it. I actually hit him with the Oka Oka and he didn't, he didn't make a thing. Man, okay, well, yay, I got, I got more vegetables. <laughs> oh, that is super disappointing. So no keys and, uh, and no teleporter, just some gold slimes. Very good. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could teleport back and then I could run through the maze of death. Oh, okay, just, just calm down. Just calm down, guys, just calm down. And I could grab more carrots and then we could feed that to the rag gordo. So this is gonna be like a big gordo episode, pretty much. I'm just gonna feed everything that I can. So I think we fed it like half a dozen already, right? And this is gonna be another, another 31 carrots. Is that gonna, that's probably not gonna do it, is it? Hmm, oh, we could try. Should be in this cave, right? I think I'm starting to learn my way around here now. Yeah, there he is, okay. Now, I'm I'm not gonna be under fall, any false pretenses here. I'm gonna imagine this is not gonna be enough, right? Even if I gave him everything, that's probably not gonna be enough. I would love it to, oh boy, oh boy. The more I feed him, ow, ow, ow. Ooh, okay, the more I feed him, the bigger his aura gets. I'm just gonna feed him everything, I don't even care anymore. There's one, there's one that missed. Do you want, do you want this? Why, why is that carrot not good enough for you? Just, just, just eat it, okay. Not enough. Oh, I really wanna feed him this episode though. I wanna see what's inside. I swear the slimes of this world must think I'm crazy. I'm just running around gathering up food and just like shooting it into other slimes face. Damn it, okay. Well, that's eight more carrots. I don't know where I'm gonna find more food. This surely has to be enough. Eight more carrots, right? One, I wanna get, I wanna get, oh no. Oh, there's some back here. Oh God, it hurts. I can feel my DNA getting screwed. Okay, can we just, there we go. All right, now I, I got a front row seat for when you pop. Please pop, please pop. Yes, thank you. Pop, yeah. Oh, and he's got, oh, he's got a key. And a bunch of rad slimes, actually. I can use a bunch of rad slimes. I'll take all of you guys, because we're gonna be doing stuff with you. And a key, okay. Cool, so we have another key. Hopefully that'll lead to something interesting. And uh, we didn't experience any new slimes today, which is a little bit disappointing, but we did feed a bunch of Gordos. So you know what, I think I'm gonna call, damn it, you're, you're being, you're, I'm trying to I'm trying to end the episode, you little aggressive tat. But like I was saying, I'm gonna end this episode of Slime Rancher here, guys, because it was relatively productive. We did get to feed a bunch of Gordos, find a bunch of new secrets. I mean, we have two keys now, but no doors to use them on. So hopefully there's another update soon. And we didn't see any new slimes, but you guys had said that there's only one other new slime. It's a lucky slime and it's completely by chance. Like I have to be lucky to see it. It's like the gold slime. So there's no guarantee, but I do want to do a few more episodes on Slime Rancher before we have to wait for another update. I'd like to do more stuff with Rad Slimes and maybe kind of overhaul the farm, try to get back to our roots kind of thing. But if you guys still enjoy seeing Slime Rancher, I'm gonna keep playing it, at least for the time being. And hopefully they start updating the world sooner because there are so many places to be updated. I can't wait to see this world when it's finished. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. That, that's an angry noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm climbing those titties. Climbing those titties. I'm just, I'm just suffocating here, okay? I'm just, I'm just drowning. I swear when you're swimming around, you see them all over the freaking place. And then when you need them, they're nowhere to be found. Maybe we should go check out that crash that we saw earlier?